Hello there, YouTube. This is Sibyls and Bits back at it again with another Arcanium run. Um, a little bit of a full disclosure again. This time it wasn't me. Uh, I started up, was about to actually record footage, and noticed that two of my tracks were not catching audio. Turns out, my monitor decided to become my default device, and it just screwed up everything so i just spent like an hour trying to get everything back together so it looks like everything is working as intended but if any audio levels are particularly egregious be sure to let me know down in the comments i don't want to blast out everybody's ears or anything like that or if there's absolutely no audio i should sound check this before i post it i usually do but yeah, just let me know if anything's, like, off. Anyways, we managed to win our last run, which is always fun. And we got to do some shenanigans, which is even more fun. But let's go ahead and figure out where we're at today. Why do I always get, um... The minion shuffle ulti on carrion. That's some bullshit. Otherwise, we got Lady for damage. We got Leon for tank. This is looking pretty good. Carrion's got good damage. Uh, good damage. Amazing support ability. And he's got some ramping damage slash defense. What with the minions? Um, this is honestly looking like a very good team. I don't know how much I can say that Lady is our damage, though, because we actually random disarm. So we're actually, like, hella tanky. We're going to have to figure out how we're going to deal damage. And that honestly might be Leon. Leon is uh, deceptively very good at dealing damage, despite his, uh, like, poor offense stat. I guess, yeah, maybe that is about good. Because he can do adequate damage. He can do enough damage. Especially uh, after... The enemy health totals dropped in the last uh, patch. But, um, yeah, he certainly can't, like, one-shot things without things that just one-shot anyways. Like, uh, what is it, uh, light beam? The laser beam? I can't even think about it. But, um, yeah. Otherwise, you pretty much just, uh, he gets access to power. And he can place it in an area without his ultimate. Although I believe that's a purple or a legendary. Hold up. Yeah, Crusader Aura is purple. So he's able to help give everybody else power too. So I'm not too concerned, but it is a purple, so we could miss it. Otherwise, he's still able to just, you know, generate shield, do a uh, shield crash. The good old Sybils and Bits bread and butter, right? You see a blue hero, that shield crash. Works perfectly fine here. Especially because we have the ultimate that, uh... Oh no, we don't. We don't have the ultimate that can shield steal. Wait, yeah, because that's... That's Shinzo. This one just taunts in an area. So we would actually want to go bolster. We could go for... Or try and fish for the Crusader's Blade Heirloom. That would give him 150% extra damage. That's basically like super crits. He could definitely be our damage dealer. But we'll have to see how that plays. Uh, because Carrion can also be a decent damage dealer. Lady, even though she doesn't have her ultimate, can still deal some decent damage. We're going to have to see how this one plays. But um, looking at our damage here, we've got all sorts of damage. We have red damage, green damage, a little bit of purple damage on Carrion. Uh, Lady has some, has some blue, and Leon has a lot of blue. That's sort of what we're looking at. Primarily like red and blue, with some green in there. Honestly, I wouldn't feel bad taking this team to Anador. Anytime that you're going for a full defensive strategy, that feels pretty good to me. Otherwise, I can see Uzir mainly because of Ornate Hammer. Gets um, pretty degenerate. I 
and I am working on that like beginner vid so uh, don't worry about me like not going in depth on a lot of things but uh, basically I'm looking at these commons here and the reason why I look at commons is because when you take early elites you're going to be getting common artifacts maybe you hit an early uh, forge get a free uh, artifact it might be blue that would be great but otherwise one of the things that I'm looking at when I'm trying to decide where I'm going is the commons because well, they're common right you're going to see them all over the place and so that's why I'm particularly looking at those and I guess they were all up at the front didn't are these usually sorted hmm. anyways uh Shakir shield bounty hunter satchel is absolutely ridiculous especially if we're going bolster on <sighs> if we're going bolster on Liam because you get people to target you most of your skills are going to go down to like one at the most most of them you only need like one maybe two people to target you which he has access to taunt lady can also help like you know dash in taunt dash out so we've got lots of uh, AI manipulation, if you will. So he gets his whole hand to be basically free, or most of it. Plays his whole hand. You have Bounty Hunter Satchel in, uh, in hand. Guess what? You got a whole nother hand. And so long as you can keep heavy bolster, that's good stuff. I actually think we start, um, <clears throat> we start uh, here for that purpose. Otherwise, everybody's like, pretty good at blocking themselves um Karrion has a little bit of difficulty again because he's got like three health minions but that'll get better and you know eventually those are going to ramp up and actually be like pretty good otherwise we got technically lady can dash in to block for him we've got uh leon who's able to taunt and he's pretty defendable so it's honestly probably going to work out. The one thing that we don't currently have access to, which again, everybody who starts, unless you specifically choose a couple characters with the ability, don't have access to cleanse. And there is quite a lot of DOTs starting out in Uzir, and minions can't block for that, but um, obviously shielding can. So Kirin might have a spot of trouble, but uh, so long as we can keep our damage high, we should just be able to melt everything here. Not too concerned. Yeah, I'm feeling very good about this. I don't know if we stay here for the boss. In fact, I think we do want to pivot over to Anador because if we're going for like a some shield tech, some draw tech, Anador is very good for that. Do we want to go to Scorch Lands? Because we would have to get here pretty early. Actually, to get 20 enemies destroyed. We're on this side of the map. I'm not sure about that. An item for 20 enemies, that's guaranteed item. And then 10 tiles for some money. I could see that. Now the question is, is, is uh, 30 enemies in Uzir worth uh, 600 gold for us? Honestly? I don't think so. Let's go. I'll take that. That's 200 gold. An early chest feels pretty good. One of these days, I'm actually going to take these and find out what a um, threat zero fight looks like. Although, well, I mean, we can pretty much like surmise what it's going to be. It'd be a uh, 24 plus 25% currently. So... God, I'm trying to math. It'd be 30 health. These enemies would have 30 health, which... With carrying? Oh my good lord, that'd be so easy. Uh, you get two discard strikes in hand? That's eight AoE. That's one third of the fight. Anyways, let's try and get into some actual action here, shall we? Um, I actually like... I know I just said that I was gonna... But I actually like the fact that we have all of these hazards, which again, don't increase threat. 
this camp just in case and this loot cache because the loot cache is going to give us a little bit of a boost these are pretty much free because we don't have any dots at the moment and then of course we've got the shock here we might be able to get some uh, extra damage here which will allow us to clear the shock very easily but we're also very good at shock we've got um what am I trying to say? We've got uh, Leon's Crusader Strike, 3 AoE. We've got uh, Carrion's Discard Strike, which is uh, 4 AoE. And we also have access to Lady with her Double Strikes. We have access to Minions, which is an extra hit every turn, so long as they're alive. Like, it's, it's not the best, but again, like I've always said, you don't have to have, like a lot of hits to make shock very good the main thing that's going to be a problem is when we have shock but again uzir generally has the lowest amount of hits in the game because all they're doing is like uh, self buffing throwing down dots and those don't proc this so sometimes you it really scuffs you but generally speaking this is like better for you than it is for them Anyways, let's get down to this. A blue? Okay, let's go. Clint. <laughs> oh, let's go. Um, there's Ornate Hammer. Um, Lancard Sabatons is also an interesting decision. Because it's backlash for free, which I can definitely get behind. Especially when you're in an area like this, which has no green resistance. It could potentially add up to quite a lot of damage. Um, even take um, Carrion, right? He places a minion and needs to get out of the way. Shifts over with Lady. That's two free damage, right? Otherwise, like, he could play, you know, cards, theoretically speaking. But his hand's not always going to work with that. And so he's able to give other characters damage. So I really, I actually highly respect Flame Guard Sabatons as opposed to other options. It's just like, um, what is, God, I can't think about it right now. Um, it's a right skill off of Angorn. And what it does is give people cards in their hand that give them thorns. That's, playing free cards which has a number of interactions it uh, can trigger combo it can do a lot of things and it's basically like backlash whenever the ally wants it and it's so long as it does you don't overdraw your hand right it's technically free um that's probably besides obviously like shinzo's shinzo and um Angorn starters, which is basically blocking for um, it's blocking for slightly less no, actually, they're blocking on par for uh, starters, and then you also get 3 free damage they're pretty good I don't think that they're crazy, but this you can get to go off numerous times especially on Lady where you have the dash strike, because you're trying to like, you know, take the lane for Carrion trying to get that free shielding this could actually add up to where one of her turns that doesn't actually have a lot of damage suddenly has some freaking damage otherwise ornate hammer obviously we don't really have much of a setup for it right now but if you consider that uh carrion's currently like our weakest member defensively and it's mainly because if he gets a DOT on him, there's nothing that he can do about it. Except us using our one potion that we just got. Ornate Hammer, Discard Strike. He's got three shield, which will block like half of any like DOT that gets put on him. And so all he's got to do is do that once a turn. Generally speaking, it'll happen. Not always. And so he's able to defend himself all of a sudden. And then once he gets his defenses sorted out, we can shift this over to Lady to start reproducing a disgusting amount of defense. During the PTR, I had a phrase, um, 
she ain't no lady if she don't block for 80 just casually blocking for like 80 plus even got up to like 250 any source of gaining shield on lady just and especially it's it's on hit right like we already know that lady's good at that <laughs> it's really good this basically turns her um, dual strikes into uh, her passive where if you just use any blue card you get two shield guess what you don't even have to worry about going uh, blue lady anymore Otherwise, Sun Shatter Blade would be a huge prospect of pick, especially considering how we're thinking currently that we're going to start abusing um, holster cards on Leon to get like ridiculous damage. But even just looking at our ultimates, right? Because we can do this. Excuse me. We can. We can. No, right? Because it's right here. I'm an idiot. We get up to 18 with Disarm Plus. So we use two red skills before this, maybe to get it. Guess what? We hit 20. And now we've basically got Pounce without obviously the red damage, which here is great. And we don't have the dash, which is a, it's something that we're looking for, right? Because it's a good interaction. <coughs> In fact, it's access to dash that makes Lady one of the best characters in the game, if not the best character in the game, in my opinion. Very hard to uh, take that from her. And I'll almost always keep lunges in her deck because they're just, they're just good. So we're able to proc that on Lady fairly easily. And Leon gets pretty close too. Honestly, oh my good lord, I'm honestly thinking about this. Just because of that. So, all we have to do is figure out how to get two more damage on Leon. And now his ult not only taunts everything, but also leaves vulnerable? That's nutty. But for right now, we could put this on Lady. We can comfortably... Like, I'm going to say, we could comfortably take on a shard at that point. Because once you get rid of uh, the side minions, most of these shards aren't that tough. Famous last words, right? But seriously. And um, if we bump into an elite battle, we're probably fine. I'm going to take this. I thought, again, I thought this was a prospective pick. It's actually looking pretty good. All we got to do is get a card pile on Lady. And then we can start this up. Although, I guess that is prospective because we currently don't have one of those. But we will get um, three cards from our battles, which will still keep us at one thread. And then we can pretty much, we're good to go. Assuming, of course, that the cards that we pick up are available for Lady. Oh my goodness, I've talked for like 20 minutes and we haven't even started but yeah i'm feeling sun sh shatter blade i really am got some gold well this is going to be a uh, cheesy fight i'm going to keep lady over here simply because she'll be able to burst down the sand elemental we're not really worried about him if uh we have to soak this so be it but we should be fine and this is pretty much uh, just so that Karen can get off his discard strike and put his reanimated carcasses wherever he needs them to be. And with the two of them here, he should be relatively safe despite being in the center. Start that, sure. And then, um, actually, we're going to taunt that this way, and then we're going to take one damage, honestly. I'm not too afraid of that. Maybe he's going to be over here doing lighty things. I'm really excited for that Sun Shatter Blade.
Yeah, this is just uh, liquid damage. All right. So, one thing I'm going to consider here, actually. Leeching Strike just to top off Leon. Because otherwise, like, he's pretty good. I just realized that I don't actually even have to, uh... I don't have to tank this because we have the, um... The battlefield for Cleanse All. It's cursed, by the way. Um... I guess we can get that any other turn. Let's just end this fight. There we go. And... Let's just get that Fury. No need to be stingy. Boosh. In fact, uh, let's just make sure that this never happens. Boosh. Yeah, like I said, this is a pretty solid team. Ah. And there we go. Necrotic Blow would be incredible for damage, but power is a way that we can activate his um, ulti plus to breach that amount of damage. And power, power grip's good. As long as someone's aiming at you, which it is important to note that we obviously are in Uzir, so somebody actually aiming at him may not happen. But you get uh, one person aiming at you. This is a one for four that gives you power. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, this card is worth its cost. It upgrades plus four? Holy shit. But, um, it's worth its cost at two, to be honest. I'll even put that in there. We'll keep him at 10 cards. We honestly may just take that shard battle. The elites are going to be so easy. Threat 2. Alright. 2 sand elemental. This, this fight's pretty much over. This is going to be a repeat of last time. Except let's uh, put Lee where she does the most damage. Let's do this right. Yeah, lady just casually did uh, damage. This is what we're going to do. That. That. have to actually be careful. Start with... The, oh, wait, no. AoEs work now. We're fine. It's gonna look a little weird. Farmin. I'll do this first. There's an... Oh! Okay. Life Leech is, like, super good. But if we're trying to activate Shatterblade, Rippling Force is how we go. Otherwise, like, phase out. Like, these are the two characters that don't want to do stealth. 
Like I could kind of see some like directional shenanigans, but yeah. We'll take Rippling Force. It's great. It's basically a Shinzo common for everybody that retains. We'll actually put that on Lady for now. We can always shift it around like that. Charles Tamers could be a little bit annoying, but we should honestly just be able to kill him. All right. Oh, that's right. This is the shock battle. So we do have to be careful. Um, this will deal less damage overall. They're already almost dead turn one. That's a little annoying, though. We don't have a leeching strike this turn, of course. Because uh, sometimes that's how it be. You guys are literally already dead. Just let the minion kill it. No need. And then it killed itself, so carrying healed. Look at that. Passing in obscurity. Good lord. Purifying light is access to cleanse. We should be going for that. Pulverize, though. Assuming we don't get Elder Genie, which we would just let it do its shenanigans anyways, but it would still be annoying. This would help us get past that. Otherwise, we are going for some, like, sort of taunt shenanigans, right? Uh, his ulti even taunts. Purifying Light is just going to be good, except for the fact that I really hate that this thing doesn't get retained. Doesn't even get it on level. Plus six, though. That's pretty good. Destroy all shields. That's going to be useless after like 8 threat though. Because the sand elemental is going to be gone. Take purifying light. Round out our defense on our deck. Same old. Oh my good lord, let's go. I'm fine doing that just for the uh, the poor damage. Redirects all the damage here, where we want it. Looking good. Up a bit. Lady's unfortunately gonna take some damage, but I don't really think that there was much that could have been done besides us putting a minion out there. But where we're at now. Okay. Well, I'm thinking this, that. I wasn't uh, thinking, I was thinking somehow I was going to get hurt here. Which we cannot do. pretty much over. Oh, Rippling. I suppose what I should do is... That's unnecessary. Help her out.
Or, uh, we'll kill, but just to be safe. Shield. Um. Currently, Leon has access to Ulti Plus if we choose. We just got to give him Rippling Force. Vicious Strike would allow us to stack it, though, because we can't always use our ultimate. Sometimes we get our ultimate at the end of the turn. I would also kind of like her to keep Rippling. So much better on her, in my opinion. I think if we level, we actually give Leon draw that'll enable these uh, these bolster cards we're taking. And I think we do take this. There's also something to be said about Earthen Circle. That way um, Carrion's able to take care of himself and he also helps out the others too since we think that he's primarily going to be in the center lane. I think that that's actually the play because he'll keep it in his uh, his hand and then we always have it when we need it so long as we don't get bopped like twice in a turn. Yeah, especially with us thinking that we're going to take, like, a uh, Threat 4 shard. Should probably have more defense, just in case. Just in case it's uh, the Skarl's Tamer. Guy Collar Osiris, I think it's called. One of those. Okay, let's get this level. I hate how the... Uh, your health isn't looking how it should here. Oh, there's a card pile. I think we take that. But, it, it, there's something to note here. If we hit it at 4 threat, the elites will still be easy enemies. It'll be uh, these guys right here, which will make them much easier to kill. So I think we honestly probably skip the card pile. I think we're at the point where we can... Yeah, we can make the ulti plus work however we want. Let's just take care of this, though. It does mean that we're going to have to skip that, uh, that campfire, though. So we do need to try and uh, buff up Milady here with some heals. I'm just going to do everything in my power to uh, make that good for her. I'm going to take another three here, but... Um, Should be fine. Okay. Not really much to be said. There's um save the AP. We don't really draw enough to need it. Hard. Get that fear. Oh, I should have paid attention to that. Regardless, we're fine. I am a fool. We're not fine. Okay. Can't believe I just freaking did that. <laughs> Uh, you'd think I'd learn how to count. I 
then of course we don't get a uh Save that AP. Pretty sure this enemy's gonna be dead anyways. Get this in there. AoE. Pop this man. Next. Now I actually wanna save AP because we're gonna have Rippling Force here. You do have a leeching strike, okay. You want you to have the ability to have access to two leeching strikes if possible, so we keep you here. And there's literally no waste happening here, so it doesn't matter. That shield is actually good for us even. Oh, I thought we had two leeching strikes for a second there. Okay. Leech? Heal yourself. Then if you move over here, you're gonna practically be full. We don't have to kill this animated carcass. But let's save her the trouble. Okay. And so now we just... Actually, we need to try and deal as little damage as possible. <laughs> Oh no! This didn't work out. This is the most hit. It really doesn't matter. Our life leech pretty good. Give Lady that fish a strike for the uh, the face racing that we're about to do. This is definitely better than um, a Shea strike, so we can just replace it. Um, so I know I said that we should take draw, but then we didn't take that bolster card. So I'm honestly feeling that the best thing to do would be to uh, give Karrion the energy. Because uh, carrying, carrying with energy can drop two leeching strikes. He can almost play his entire hand all, all the time. And he can also double stack a minion, which ramps himself. Or he can play out two minions, which is, again, just uh, enabling him to ramp. I think that he uh, desperately wants that. Okay, so we are going to take this at threat four for the easier elites. Looking pretty good for our stuff. Again, our health has been scuffed because we're in the map. But honestly, looking very healthy. But Leon needs to get 12. And he also needs the artifact. So we will give that to him. And in order for him to get 12, we have to get rid of the Rippling Force. And then we we're gonna switch out a flesh A strike for vicious strike. Rippling force, you now have 12. Also retain, shielding. Honestly, it's pretty good. And if we can uh, get it on the same terminus power grip, that, that's some huge value. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. I'm not afraid. Okay, it was Sandwalker Liskar. Um, it's pretty rough. All abilities played gain 50% soul steal from direct damage. Now, it's very important to note that this includes damage to minions. And if he's attacked by a minion, destroy it and gain one power. We can honestly avoid that by just putting minions in the side lanes. And looking at everything else... The Carrion's minions aren't that tough. Do we even care? If uh, anybody taunts the uh, the attack away, though, 
it is going to hit that minion, and then he's going to life leech off of it. But honestly, we'd have to get a pretty damn good hand in order for us to full block anyways. So I think we can take this, especially for a, uh, a loot cache. It's another item, and we'll be uh, stocked up full of items. It uh, could be blue, which gives us a relic. Actually, do they all keep relics? I should know this. But, yeah, I 100% think that we take this. It's not a big deal. Yep. Let's go. The other thing to note is that, of course, by... As I think I explained in the last run, if you can make sure that the shard elites are easy enemies by taking it by threat 4 which you'd need a pretty good team like we've got here, right? With a, a great, um, like that loot cache really propelled us. You can make sure that these don't have their passives because easy, and easy elites do not have passives. And that makes this fight way much easier. Anyways, we're about to get bombed. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. Oh. Uh, almost this way. Build up. It's going to take a little bit of damage. This is just how things go. And then, um, Karrion's obviously going to help the team the way he does. I probably could have gotten this out first. And we are going to go after these minions simply because, well, we might as well. We probably should have swapped these lanes simply because uh, she's losing half her damage here, and that's kind of silly. But uh, next turn should be primarily blue. Oh, there's some blue in there. Okay. So we've got the damage chunking out. That's what we want to do. Want to do this. And this, since we're taking the damage anyways. And so then we heal up one. We're getting ready for our ult. And he's going to life leech for less. Which is primarily what we want. Okay. Um, don't do that. Take that. Yeah, this fight's looking great. If only Leon could uh, you know, get some freaking damage, but it's about to pop. It is about to pop. Oh my good lord. Uh, he's immune to vulnerable, but this guy's pretty much dead. And this guy shouldn't even get to attack Lady. Just gotta make sure that that's the case. Problem solved. We're gonna be off by a few. We're fine, though, actually. That man. Um, let's focus on the heals, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Put that there to help full block. Dead. We're gonna ramp up a minion. Pretty good. Okay. The only thing is, is that if you would have put this uh, leech here, you would have healed one, which I, I'm not gonna cry about that. Sorry, guys. You are actually going to get bombed. That's rough. We're going to miss it by one. It was basically a decision on if Leon should take damage or if she should get ulted. This should have went over here. Oh my good lord. And then you would have life-stealed for less. 
Nothing was even fine, like... <laughs> oh, jeez. It's about to be a spicy take. I think we actually do this. Can we actually do that? I'm gonna want to be in this lane anyways. bit of a uh, healage most importantly we're gonna taunt away so it doesn't really matter there actually are we afraid of this because we're gonna have to block in next turn might have earthen circle which will help yeah, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Can't be affected by major debuffs. That'll do that. Starting to get punished for our hubris. Um, there's no other... Like, we can get weakened, but... Get rid of that fire damage now. Carrying's just going to do carrying things for a while. Let's do this. Like, we could have hit this elusive, but we're already loaded in gold. We need to end this fight. Might have power grip next turn. Then we want to be here. Oh no, we're weak. We actually don't care about power grip. Why didn't I just do that and get 14 gold? I need to do it. Gonna help us out a lot. We have that uh, campfire just flying around. I actually think I might spend, uh, depending on how far away we are, I might spend the 200 at the end to heal this team. Oh my lord, that's a lot of damage. Carrying things and heal yourself. Because this team with two random upgrades would actually uh, do pretty well. Should be dead this next turn. Oh my god, carried. Stop, please get help. No, we're not gonna miss it. I was thinking we were for a second there. Got ulti. Boosh. Look at that. Threat for shard battle. Oh, Toolless rapier. Fencing boots. These are all really ridiculous. 
Cursed Trinket would just be good for like right now because uh, currently he wants to discard a lot of cards. We could lean into that, but currently it's a prospective pick. If, um... Honestly, if Reanimate discarded your hand and then drew minions, this would be like really good. And it would also ramp up some of his other cards. Uh, Duelist Rapier would just make her do more damage. She would almost... If we ended up making her deal the damage, she would almost not have to go ulti plus. Almost. She would need some AP in order to make it happen. But she could do it. Especially if we get access to, like, outplay. But then she'd be using a majority of her turn in order to get there. It's... Honestly, I think that our current setup with Leon is almost better. Like, they're both fighting over the, the shatter, sun, sun Shatter Blade. But Fencing Boots is just all around good. Enables us to give her AP without having to worry about draw, because most of the time we're going to have a dash in our hand, and then we can easily gain access to more dashing. Also helps her tank build a lot. We would honestly prefer to have the Royal Breastplate, because that's an extra shield every time uh, that... Wait, no, it's an extra two shield every time that we use a blue card, which allows us to be Leon multiple times in a turn, and definitely helps us get up there, but Fencing Boots is... It's just all around good. Do it. Do it. Do it. Cleave plus on Lady is also pretty ridiculous. It's also obviously pretty good on uh, Leon too. But uh, since Lady can get that free might and just cleave everything. Otherwise, she doesn't really have a lot of AoE. Not taking dual wield plus though is a huge misplay, especially with this lineup. If we're thinking about going blue lady, we're going to be using a lot of bolster cards on Leon. <laughs> like, du dual wield's ridiculous. I just love cleave plus because the fact that it upgrades to range is ridiculous. Otherwise, vault is somewhat considerable because it will give him a draw which he doesn't have the AP to really use right now and it allows him to get out of harm's way and shield himself anyways we're taking new will plus you can probably give that to oh, actually who do we give it to if it was on lady that'd be such a power turn <laughs> How fucked up is it that we're thinking about going damaged Leon and tanky lady? But hey, you know how I am. I like to do, uh... I like to make points with these videos. For right now... I think Leon carries this more than uh, Lady does. Actually, I don't think that's true. Put this on Lady for now. Did, after all, just take one of her cards away. Okay, Shadowy Scythe. It's basically his discard strike, but it applies leech in an area, which means that Leon's AoE is going to hit for more. Um, Lady doesn't have AoE, but obviously, like, we don't have the current jank of, like, oh, well, we've got to place it down and then get Lady to go into his lane. It's just rough, right? Shadow Scythe, yeah, it costs 3 AP. Upgrades to 2. Oh my good lord. It costs 3 AP. But it's... Ba <laughs> you basically put his Leeching Strike and his Discard Strike into the same card and only increased it by 1. It's insane damage, especially if um, Leon's managing to do, you know, the AoE taunt and apply vulnerable, then this is going to do like nine damage and leech in an area. God, this is so tempting, but I think we need to grab judgment. Just give him a source of self-sustain. 
And again, four, four damage lifesteal for one is worth it. Like, consider... This is the same cost as Lazar's Echo Lifesteal. It does the same amount of damage. It's also like one of the good Echo cards, except for the fact that it's bugged right now. But being able to sometimes use this for one or zero AP. God damn, man. It, like, let me tell you, it's how you deal damage. Get that Crusader Blade, it's going to pop off. Take this. Freaking shadowy scythe. That would be our upgrade at the uh, the campfire for sure. I would 100% do that. The upgrade. The upgrade is just plus two. That's fair. It's honestly fair. I think I'm being uh, I honestly think that I'm being rude to grab Shadowy Scythe and we should upgrade it 100% and health to all heroes it was just a normal loot cage come on man X Potion is very good here um Spirestorm Ballista oh my goodness Zora's long sight is also considerable. That's like really good. And then of course Glory's breastplate. Uh Lady always empties her hand, pretty much, especially once we get an AP on her. Even with fencing boots, like most of the time it's gonna happen once we get plus one AP. Firestorm Ballista is just so much freaking damage, though. The problem is that we don't really have ranged. So, the question is... Since... Hmm. So here's a question. First off, it says the first card you play. Does this apply to all enemies? If, uh, Karin uses Discard Strike? That'd be disgusting. Even if it doesn't. If Lady has access to this, she's just gonna do Buku damage. And she's gonna bleed over into the middle lane, which, uh, Karin is currently our, um, weakest damage dealer. So then, that means that she'd have to go over there less. Of course, we're still in Uzir, so it's not going to be a considerable amount of damage. But as far as her lane's concerned, she's going to get disgusting single target. Like, it is insane. We're not exactly set up for it. Again, like, oh, well, you don't have a lot of multi-strikes. All your multi-strikes is just dual strike. Again, you don't need... Like... <laughs> so if she uses a card and has four energy, then she has three energy... To spend on this even if she's just uh using single strikes maybe she gets her ulti off so let's just say that there's four strikes right that's probably her average around four strikes is 12 damage single target for one ap because we had to use a card technically it's free um 12 damage for free that's worth two ap that's not considering the damage that's being dealt over to the other side. Even this, if this gets resisted, right? And this is dealing uh, one damage each. That's six damage. Really good. Glorious Breastplate would really round her out, but... I think we just, uh... Get some damage going here. And if it works on Carrion, actually, we should, uh... Should be testing that first. If it works on Carrion, that's huge. But I think at this point we can get rid of these uh, little t piddly uh, leeching strikes. Keep them well rounded because this extra three healing, I'm not about. Let's keep him as lean as possible. 
easier access to Earth and Circle. Um, we're gonna have some leeching strikes, right? Like it's gonna happen, but uh, we also get Shadowy Sight more often, and he's gonna help support the team through that. We've already stated we're gonna just do a little bit of chores here. We're probably gonna use most of our threat, looking at what I have here. Actually, before we hit the camp, let's hit this trainer. Unearth. <laughs> Why did Unearth have to be in the same tract as Touche? No. Oh no, dude. Like, don't make me. We take this, though. We 100% take this. This is just going to make him more consistent. If we have to use uh, his um, AoE shield early, we can just Unearth it. If we have to use... If he gets 5 AP somehow, and he has a minion unearth in his hand, we can go ahead and dig that up. If he, for whatever reason, has to, like, discard strike something that we want, unearth it back up. We get two of these? We can start some fucking shenanigans, let me just tell you that. Alright? Like... Unearth has no place being a common card. But touche. God damn. Why you make me do this? This is also going to reduce his uh, cost of deck because obviously we use that to replace oh, another power grip. Excuse me? Excuse me? It's considerable that we might want to do Essence Cocoon due to the fact that we... Again, Carrion's number one weakness is going to be uh, his lack of cleanse. We got a cleanse on Leon, which is considerable, but Leon can also block. So he just needs to get through his deck and use it at the right moment, and then he'll just like not be overran by a bunch of debuffs. Essence Cocoon, though, it's going to be hard to pop it off. Especially with our current deck, which is the main reason why I'm not thinking about taking it. But carrying needs like cleanse available, however we get to it, right? Having ice barrier on lady. <laughs> We're dang good. Especially if we get into Anador, we can really make this skill pop. It also helps her shield carrying without having to like be there. For 1 AP in a double blue team. Whew. Extra power crit. We potentially get both of these in the same turn because we have. Um, we're probably going to get grab draw next because Lady doesn't need the draw. She doesn't necessarily need the AP right now. We could even throw dual wield into. Um, um, get one draw. Throw dual wield onto. Um, on and suddenly it's very easy to make these power grips free and then of course if we have two power this turn that's one power next turn technically and so that starts to really work out i almost want to buy the whole damn shop to be honest it's pretty good i think at uh honestly why don't we just take ice barrier now you upgrade to six that's pretty good i think we buy both of these after all, why shouldn't I have it? And most notably, I want I want Lady to have Rippling Force. Works very good with her current setup. Now we've got Ulti plus Disarm for 18 damage. We honestly may already shift uh, the Sunbreaker over because she's just going to get it more. We're going to have to see how the um, the power grips turn out. And if we get one more pretty good lady card, then we can afford to get rid of dual wield plus, throw it over to Leon. Then uh, he can have that rom romping around too. Give me my item. Major debuffs. That, that gets rid of stun. 
Um, Astral Familiar is also notable because it's, uh, well, we don't really have anything really to deal with, um, with, uh, minions right now, but we're in Uzir, which is a heavy minion area. We could bump into something and have something that, uh, popping out Astral Familiar turn one might be useful. Voodoo Potion, um, as much shit as I talk about, um, purple damage, especially purple DOTs, being able to drop eight hex on an enemy is considerable damage, especially if we get out of Uzir where a lot of enemies uh, cleanse themselves. That's a lot of damage. Like, we can definitely do some shit with that. Otherwise, Potion of Swiftness, obviously being able to remove um, stuns pretty much the the main deal there but every area has stuns like you should always be considering it obviously you don't want to get like double stunned or something like that maybe you get vulnerable but potion of swiftness and it's only one ally too like <laughs> especially with our double taunt setup we should be able to make this work So it's between the Astral Familiar and the Voodoo Potion. And I'm thinking with our uh, our very aggressive playstyle, currently we definitely go Voodoo Potion. Except we're going to have to remember when we have two copies of a potion, this is going to unequip next time we start the next video. So that's a problem for future me. And possibly future you if you ever do anything like that. We have gold. I think we take this event. The thing that's looking a little interesting here if we can somehow get to this cap let's let's just take a look one four five okay we are actually going to miss this early shard battle if we do something like that so we might have to just disregard the capital or if this is a heal then we can definitely go in there Just being able to farm out another heirloom. Oh, that'd be so great next video. I think we take this. We see where we're at. Yeah, we see where we're at. Um, sacrifice an item for an artifact. I'm down with that. We have a um, frickin' trove right down there. We need to cleanse though. We're gonna get rid of a voodoo potion. Oh. <laughs> Holy chalice. Oh man. I would have preferred to have had claw shoulders, but this'll do. This will definitely do. The other consideration is obviously putting Targon. Uh, we just said that uh, Carrion's very weak and he needs help. Wooden Targon would do that. Combat Staff, one might on this team. Not really feeling, honestly. If we could somehow get access to another might, I would, like if this was two might, 100%. I think it needs to be buffed up to two might even probably. Maybe that's not worth a, uh, a common, but yeah, I just compared to a a relic that we just got that does three shock on the first hit that you do. Even as a common, this doesn't look good. It needs to be two. And if it was, like, that's not just me saying, like, oh, yeah, obviously, if it was two, then we'd be able to proc Sun Shatter Blade. Like, no, this needs to be two. Like, you could argue that, obviously, like, that'd be pretty good on, like, Lady, and, but it's also good on, like, AoE attacks and everything else. Like, you can't keep holding back the whole game just because Lady's built different. And, uh, other characters could still use this, too. And besides, it's also in the same tier as Holy Chalice and Claw Shoulders. Like, Lady already wants to go to Anador. Just give that plus two might. Pick Holy Chalice. 
Uh, we might honestly end up putting it on Leon, but for right now, just to sort of like help out our defense, we're going to be putting this on Lady. Okay. Gotta think. Okay, so we're not getting the heal. Spell to all heroes. Doesn't matter. I'm honestly feeling confident taking these. Do I feel confident going in there without healing first, though? That's the question. Because next video, if we pop this sucker, we can just go straight into here. There's only going to be one medium elite. And we're in here, so we can take a look at... No, we're still technically... Oh, no, here we go. So it could be an Elite Brute Sentinel, Hat Surrogate, or Black Widow. Black Widow would be pretty freaking annoying, to be honest. But we honestly might just face race, because it'll still be one of these guys. Which, unless it's a Ferocious Iron Claw, like, we've got great damage against him. Technically, Liddy could still just square up against this guy and just face race him. But we would prefer it to be Feral Razor Fang. Oh, wait, hold up. No, we gotta look at these. Pack leader Fenrir. Yeah, honestly. Berserker gains nine shield. That'd be pretty annoying. The Brazilians would be pretty annoying for us. Um, otherwise, though. Yeah. I honestly think that we're looking. Damage and apply root upon being hit. That'd be annoying. That'd be hell annoying. But uh, Lady could face race that because she's blue. And oh my good, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> what? Um. Yeah, and with Firestorm Ballista, I think that we would probably ditch science. Put Firestorm Ballista on Lady, because no matter what's happening, she's going to try and face race the thing. So we put the damage on her so that she's just easily able to deal damage, and just hopefully Karrion can hold his own in the side lane. I have drawn this out another 20 minutes. There's a lot going on here. So I suppose, uh, for those of you who do comment down there, or want to, um, as usual, any feedback that you have, comments, questions, concerns, misplay alerts, be sure to leave those down there. Also, you could comment on the squad, what you feel about it, how you feel that we're currently doing, and in that same note, what would you do in this situation with your next um, five threat? Considering that we do probably want to take this shard battle, and if we're feeling juicy enough, we can take this. So we would have to step on here at eight threat. So we have three other tiles that we can do. And then we can go one, two, and then hit both of those. Do we save the camp for uh, later? We've got much more defense now. Do we... Maybe upgrade at the Oracle. Do we take this card pile? Do we take this card pile? A whole bunch of... Uh, probably the most interesting map pathing that I've had in quite a while, to be perfectly honest. Anyways, <laughs> any of that stuff, be sure to leave it down below. I love seeing it, and until next time, I'll catch you guys around.